our last fuel stop out in the desert, where we fill up with JP4 jet fuel. The turbine will burn practically anything that can flow through a pipe, from perfume to peanut oil. Combustion is complete. The exhaust is cool and clean. There is no carbon monoxide, no unburned carbon. Nothing to make small. Time and distance are running out. Route 66 soon loses itself in the sea. Los Angeles, the city of angels, end of the year, end of the day, end of an important trip for those of us with Chrysler Corporation. Over 3,000 miles from Central Park in four and a half days without a mishap. Three days later, after a rest for the team and a bath for the turbo dart, the Los Angeles press are given a chance to look at and ride in this amazing new automobile with an engine that has only one-fifth as many parts as the reciprocating engine. One spark plug, no antifreeze, and never needs an oil change. It starts with ease and performs equally well in all kinds of weather on almost any kind of fuel. Take it away. And now, what of the future, and what does this mean to you? It means simply that Chrysler has licked many of the problems which had previously impeded gas turbine development. The success of the road test proves such an engine to be practical in a passenger car. It has been announced that Chrysler will build a limited number of these cars within the next 18 months for sale to selected motorists for additional testing under all sorts of conditions. At this time, a rigorous analysis of manufacturing processes and cost is being conducted in Detroit while consumer reaction and interest is being tested and evaluated in selected major markets. The turbine engine has moved out of the laboratory and on to the highway. Another step forward from the forward-looking Chrysler Corporation.